What is up, YouTube? This is Zach, Green Media Home Theater. If you guys are not a subscriber already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up on this video. Today, we have a very important topic for you. Proper viewing distance and screen size. This is an Ask the Pros video. So I got Kellen and Dave here on the Zoom with us, and we're going to discuss this in detail. Should I just get the biggest screen, the, the screen that's just going to fill the whole wall corner to corner and just give myself viewer fatigue? Or should I ask the pros and dial it in so that everybody gets a pleasurable experience in every single row in that theater? We're going to get into it right after the intro. Let's go, guys. All right, welcome back to another Ask the Pros video. Screen size, viewing distance, very, very important topics. Guys, the point of these videos is to try to educate you before you even talk to the guys. We want you to feel like you're making an educated buying decision and feel confident in what you're purchasing. So I got Kellen, our national sales director, and Dave, our sales advisor here on the Zoom meeting. Say hello, guys. How's it going? Glad to be here, Zach. How's it going, everybody? All right, so this particular topic is hands down one of the most important because everybody is, is hung up. Should I go 140? Should I go 100? You know, and everything in between. Well, there's actually a little science here, guys. The appropriate viewing distance based off of your seating area. So we're going to get into it. Who wants to kick us off? Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> <laughs> I just got rock and I saw I saw you held up scissors so oh, okay. no uh, I, I think uh, you know this is a common topic you know with with just about every package that's built out um, especially with multiple rows and things like that I think determining you know where the main listening position is or the main uh, seating position viewing position uh, is going to be in the room um helps determine the size screen that we're ultimately going to pick. Obviously there's factors. If you have a second row, are you going to be able to see over the front row, how tall the riser is? You have a seven foot ceiling and you've got a four inch riser. You're not going to be able to go that big um, as you think. Uh, you may have the wall space for it width wise, but there's a lot of things that go into it that help uh, get to us ultimately the screen size that we're going to recommend. So with that being said, <laughs> As you guys can see, um, we are humans and we have animals and children. <laughs> so, Dave, you want to uh, take it from there? Yeah, no, I, I think, uh, you know, screen size obviously has a lot to do with room size, you know, because you have to think about things like throw distance. How far is the lens going to be from the screen? Um, you know, the other thing you want to consider is where you're going to put your speakers. So if you've got a room that's, you know, X number of feet wide and you have a screen that you want to be X number of feet wide, you need to consider where those speakers are going to be placed. Can you go behind the screen if push came to shove? You know, a lot of times when you get into, well, not a lot of times, most times when you get into the corners of the room, you know, it's double studded because it's a corner of the room. So maybe you can't recess the ceilings or an in-wall speaker there. Um, and sometimes, you know, a, a bookshelf or a floor stander uh, will actually overlap the edges of the screen. So there are a number of considerations in terms of screen size. I know the inclination is always, hey, let's do 150 inch and, and, for the best and hey some rooms can support that um another thing you want to consider uh perhaps to a lesser degree with a lot of the projectors that we offer but you know you want to think about uh brightness output on the projector itself you know most of the projectors that we deal with can handle up to a 300 inch screen but it's like a flashlight um <clears throat> the more screen size that you're trying to fill um the less light output perceived um uh, will take place and that can be mitigated with certain screen materials and things of that nature. But, you know, it really kind of comes down to like what we always talk about, the right combinations of, of tools for the job. And so, you know, when talking to us, what you're gonna find is that we're gonna ask a lot of questions about your space. Um, it's gonna become, you know, mind numbing in terms of the amount of information that we need to make sure that you're getting the right uh, prescription for the, for the room. But yeah, it's gonna come down to screen, screen material, how much light is in the room, um, you know, the budget for the projector, there's going to be a number 
number of things, but uh, we're going to we're going to dial it in correctly for you. Yeah, I think Dave uh, touches on a good point. I mean, you can certainly, and I think that's why a lot of projectors had a bad rep uh, back in the day. You know, uh, a lot of them weren't that bright. So yeah, the customers or the people that were trying to blow up a 175 inch, 180 inch screen on a insufficient projector, you can still run into those same issues today. So I think that's why it's important to not, you know, consult with us, only us, but um, we can help get you in the right mindset to, hey, you know, going to a 133 instead of that 150, yeah, it's still going to give you a 45% or 40% viewing angle. Um, but for 4K HDR content, you do want a bright, vivid image. And, um, you know, those peak highlights, that's what's going to give you that wow factor. That's what's going to give you the the um, acceptance factor of, man, this, I would take this over a TV any day. If you were to stretch that same image to much larger, it may not give you that same wow factor or impact. Um, and especially what, you know, Dave was talking, there's a lot of things that go into it. So the electrical that's already pre-wired, are we going to have to move that back to get you a larger screen size? Is it going to be worth it at that point to spend the extra time, labor and cost on materials to move that outlet back? five, six, seven more feet. Can your room even accommodate that? Um, you know, there's, there's certainly things that you can do. Um, screen size for ultra short throw projectors. Now that we're starting to see that, you know, ceiling height becomes more of a factor than anything with ultra short throws. Um, Cause there is what people don't realize there is a little bit of a throw upwards and outwards. So yeah, that 120 may not fit in your, seven and a half foot, eight foot ceiling room because the table that you're wanting to sitting on is three foot tall. Um, so these are all things that we can help you with. And we would love the opportunity to do that. If you, you know, want to give us a call, we can help give you our experience um, to help nail down something that's going to work for your room. Well said, Kellen. So as you guys can hear, I mean, there are, they listed off a good 30 different uh, examples of why we have to consult with you guys. I know in a lot of our videos, we're saying call in, call in, call in. Well, this stuff is very custom and there are just a million different considerations uh, that we have to take into account to make sure that you're happy with your buying experience. Like Kellen said earlier, the biggest compliment that we get is whenever the customer, when I'm out there shoot, shooting these demos, uh, for you guys on the channel and the customer goes, man, this thing's like an OLED TV. I got my, my LG OLED downstairs in the living room and this thing's just as good. I mean, that's what we want to hear. We want to blow your mind. But with that said, if we don't answer the question at hand, I know there's going to be some comments down below. Oh, yeah. So what is, what was our, our question here? <laughs> the proper viewing distance and screen size. I'll answer it. Generally speaking, you're looking at about a foot for every 10 inches. So like, say you got a 120 inch screen, you're going to want to be sitting back at about 11 to 13 feet. You can use that as a general rule of thumb. I just wanted to answer that because I know a lot of you guys clicked on this with that title, but long story short, you got to reach out. Don't just call us and order something. Uh, don't just say, I'll, I'll take that Epson 6050 or I want the new RS3100 and I'm going to figure it out myself. Our consultations are free. Our guys are here as friends to make sure that you make an educated buying decision. We're going to FaceTime with you. Like you see us right now, you're going to talk to Kellen. You're going to talk to Dave and we're going to make sure that your money is well spent and that we have the the best screen material, that's a whole different topic. <laughs> and there's a lot of different variances yeah. there. So we don't want you just ordering things willy nilly. Utilize the free consultation service, guys. Anyways, I think that's a wrap. You guys got anything you wanna add in? No, I think we kind of <clears throat> touched on it quite a bit. I mean, it's a, it's a very custom application and, and every room, <clears throat> I mean, I know between all of us, we've done, you know, probably a few hundred of these spaces, but, you know, every room still presents its own little challenges that we have to take into consideration. So it's, it's not quite as, uh, doesn't work like a Lego kit as much as people might think. It really does need, you know, some, uh, some extra 
eyes and input and experience on what really works. And, you know, like it's what we always talk about. It's the, it's the proper, proper combination of projector and screen, uh, potentially uh, window treatments, things like that, um, that all make this worthwhile. Well, guys, like Dave said, I mean, we have honestly not only done hundreds, we have done thousands and thousands of theaters over the years. I, I've been in the business over 10 years now. David has 28 years of experience. Um, Kellen, he, he's been in the industry forever. I'm sure just this year he's put together hundreds of packages for you guys. And he is our short throw king too, by the way, you guys want uh, ultra short throw. He's literally had every single model in his house and every single industry leading screen available. So we get our hands on these things, guys. We're like kids playing with toys. And we want to make sure whenever we recommend something to you that it's perfect. We want you just to get it put in, enjoy it, and tell all your friends how amazing your experience is with Dream Media. Well, I think that's all we got for you on this topic. If you like the video, give us a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button down below for more. Till next time, this is Zach, Kellen, and Dave with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.